Welcome to the What's New in Data360 Analyze video, aimed at LavaStorm LAE users who are interested in learning about the main changes and improvements in Data360 Analyze. In this video, I will cover the following topics. Data360 Analyze runs on a browser-only client. There's a new data viewer with data quality indicators. There are new nodes with increased speed and ease of use. The introduction of Python as a new core scripting language, cloud compatibility and deployment, drivers documentation, and much more. You can connect to the server with any supported web browser. Currently, this is Google Chrome or Internet Explorer 11. It is much easier to upgrade with Data360 Analyze as there is no thick client on the desktop to keep in sync with the server and it is now easier to upload and download files between the local machine and server in Data360 Analyze, as there is no requirement for a third-party software to do this. The Data360 Analyze Data Viewer works the same way as the LAE BRD Viewer. It allows you to inspect data at any point of your data flow by clicking once on the output pin or record count of a node. From the data viewer, you can view statistics of the data, trace fields, sort your data, filter your data, and rearrange the positions of your fields. If you filter or sort your data in the data viewer, you can create transformations straight from the data viewer by outputting this data into a filter, split, or sort node to your canvas. There are visual data quality indicators for each field located below the field names and if you click on the line it will take you to the field statistics. You can find further information such as the total null count and blank count plus ability to zoom in on the histogram chart. Data360 Analyze has new nodes which add graphical configuration, improved performance, and better internationalization support. There are performance improvement on large data sets for new nodes, such as the sort node, which is two to three times faster, the lookup node, which is two to nine times faster, the transform node, which is approximately 1.3 times faster, the merge node, which is three to four times faster than the old XREF node in LAE. Aggregate node, which is approximately 1.3 times faster than the AGX node in LAE. The join node, which is three to four times faster. The tail node, which is approximately 10 times faster. And the CSV delimited input node, which is two to five times faster. The filter, split, sort, merge, join, lookup, an aggregate node are all now configurable via an easy to use graphical interface with no scripting required. Each of these nodes will have advanced custom functions still available via the advanced tab, which will allow users to enter scripting with Python. The Excel node now detects data types from fields in the acquired data automatically. This is the default setting, but can also be turned off for all Excel nodes by configuring a system property value. The aggregate node in Data360 Analyze replaces the AgEx node in LAE. The aggregate node groups data based on a value or values specified in the group by property. For each grouping, the node allows you to complete the following calculations without any scripting. Count, sum, average, min, max, first, last, sample and population standard deviation, and sample and population variants. Python is now the core scripting language replacing BrainScript. BrainScript will continue to run in Data360 Analyze and graphs created in LAE 6.1 will run in Data360 Analyze. Some advantages of using Python include users will have the ability to reuse existing Python programming knowledge and skills, they will have access to the wealth of Python knowledge available online. Companies will have accelerated time to value for business when hiring new employees and improved performance when handling large data sets. The filter node in LAE has now been renamed to the transform node in Data360 Analyze. 
the transform node provides a wide range of filtering, transformation operations, and calculations using Python script to process input data and produce output records. Some of the possible uses of the transform node are select which input fields to output or exclude, create new fields, use the if then or else statement, correct spelling mistakes, and create calculations. Data can be acquired from major cloud providers such as Amazon Web Services, Azure, and Google Cloud Platform. In regards to cloud deployment, Data360 Analyze is available for deployment in AWS Marketplace via BYOL and from Amazon. It is also available in Google Cloud Platform Marketplaces. Deployment will be available soon to Azure. Administrators can now control permissions in Data360 Analyze. Shared folders are available with access control lists, there is the ability to set read, write, and execute grants on data flows, schedules, and library nodes. There is the ability to set permissions based on users' group memberships, user roles, and add grants to principals. And full access permission gives delegated administration rights for local admin users. Data360 Analyze has semantic versioning. Please visit semver.org for more information. Both the desktop and server versions have releases on a monthly basis. Long-term support releases will address serious defects and vulnerabilities. They will be released every six months, and in terms of which releases are supported, it is the current release plus the last release. The initial long-term support release was version 3.2.0. Documentation for Data360 Analyze has dramatically improved with working examples. You can get context-based help from within any node. The documentation is entirely new or rewritten, not in copy and paste from the LavaStorm LAE help, fully documented API, and improved documentation around database drivers. Data360 Analyze ships with popular database drivers and there's a helpful list of keyboard shortcuts that can be accessed from the help menu or from using the control and forward slash keys.